Hello everyone and welcome to this very exciting part of my tutorial series. As um, you can see by the title, we are going to be making the 3D effect in this part. And I know a lot of you have really wanted that to see this, so um, yeah, now you're going to get it. And uh, the way I made the 3D effect in Five Nights at Pinkett's Fall is by using shaders. And I have no clue how to make a shader. So what I did was I found these free shader examples. Uh, I will link them in the description of the video. And as you can see, there are all these different great looking uh, shaders. And what a shader pretty much is, is um, a piece of code that can write directly to your graphic card. So that you can make really nice looking effects and stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, but you can probably see there is no 3D effects here. So how did I make it using this, you must be thinking. But what I did was I used the magnifying shader right here. Because you can customize the magnifying shader into looking like a 3D effect. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, let's start by clicking here on the download magnify shader link. And uh, as you can see, it will download a GMS, uh, GMZ file. And uh, to open a GMZ file, you have to um, go to wherever it has decided to download. In my case, it was under downloads. And as you can see, when you enter the folder where it's downloaded to, it's in this list over here called magnify.gmz and you just choose it and click in import and find yes and now it should import into game maker and as you can see right here if you just click the play button up here the program starts up like this and uh, this looks pretty cool I mean it's a magnifying glass pretty much. But as you can see up here in the corner, you can use different keys to adjust how the magnifying glass looks. And uh, as you can see right here, if you for example adjust it like this, you can make it bigger and smaller. And uh, you can press A to make it smaller again and stuff. Yeah. But um, we have to simply just use these until it looks right, because that was what I did. And uh, I could right now just go and look at what I used, because I have saved that, but I won't do that. I'll just, yeah, this looks pretty right. It's starting to look right, at least. Uh, but just try messing around until it starts looking right, because really you can't do much else. Well, I'm just missing around a bit. And take a look at this. It already looks kind of like a 3D effect from Pingus. So, okay, now I'm doing it a bit too much. Okay. And as you can see right now, I've made a pretty nice looking 3D effect. Uh, I think so at least. Um, we can always just change it a bit later if you think it looks stupid or anything. But I think that this looks pretty nice. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a notepad. And then we're going to write down all this stuff up here. So um, the circle radius is 1.91. The min zoom is 1.266 and the max zoom is minus 0 0.62 and uh, now when we have these numbers we can go under the code of the object the control object and we can simply change them here in the create event and um, so we're going to change the radius to one point 9.1 and we are going to change the min zoom to 1.26 and we are going to change the max zoom to minus 0 0.62 and uh, now you may think this is pretty good but it's not we have to remember to delete this just so that you can't change it anymore under the step event and we also have to remove all this stuff because we don't want to be able to change the effect when you're playing the game 
So we're just going to remove every single code where you can do stuff by clicking buttons. So we only want to have the create event and the draw DUI event left. And now we're going to change something in here too. Uh, we, we're going to delete all this text uh, and then we're also going to do something else because you can probably see right now it's figuring out where to draw the the center of the circle pretty much from the mouse X and mouse Y and we do not want that of course so um, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where the mouse is in the game uh, when it looks right so that we can in that way figure out where it has to be drawn all the time so what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing some text this is just for debugging uh, at 10 comma 10 and you can just write mouse x colon and then we can say plus and then string and then because we want it to be relative to the view <coughs> we have to write um, view underscore uh, or just wait a second uh, we have to write mouse x minus view x view and then we have to copy and paste this and then say plus and then paste this and then space and then mouse y that's just going to be mouse y minus y view so now we should be able to when we run the game see the mouse y and mouse x and as you can see right now we just have to figure out where it looks right and i think it looks right when we're having our mouse around here so once again we're just going to open up our notepad and write this down so now when we have these values we can just shut this down and then go under the draw to y event and then instead of writing all this stuff up here we can just write these values um, 665 and 88 so now the shader should pretty much work as you can see right now it's okay it's not really working for some reason for some reason it's still drawing a circle at my mouse I really don't know why that's the case I'm just quickly going to take a look in here I'm back and I really do not think there is any problem, it's just Game Maker glitching out. Because now I've copied all the code from Five Nights at Fingers 4 directly to this object. And it still does that weird glitch. So um Yeah, I don't think there is a problem. I just think it's Game Maker glitching out. So I'm just really going to clear the cache and see if that helps anything. And if it doesn't I'm just going to import it into our own project and then hope it works. It doesn't. Um so yeah, I'm just going to hope that it works in our own project because it works in Five Nights at Pingas 4 and this is the exact, exact code in Five Nights at Pingas 4. So uh, in Five Nights at Pingas 4 I've set the radius to 1.18, the uh, zoom minimum to 1.16 and the zoom maximum to minus 0 0.33. So now I'm just quickly going to um, open up our project uh, by clicking the new IDE and then waiting a bit because Game Maker is slow. And then clicking the Five Nights at Pingas for YouTube button because that's what I've called it. Um, and now you can click on Add Existing Objects and then go under the where we saved it being under Game Maker and then here at Magnify and then go under Object and then import the controller object and now when we have this imported we're just going to put it into our night one room so now it's imported into our night one room and we can try running our game and take a look at how it looks so I'm just quickly going to run it and it's glitching out 
Oh, this is just a glitch. You have to open the object before it wants to compile it, otherwise it's just going to glitch for some reason. There we go. New game, yes. And we have a glitch. And that's because I forgot to import the shader. We of course also have to say add existing shader, magnify, shaders, and then shader magnify. That was a stupid mistake. New game, yes. And take a look at this. It looks pretty awesome, right? And the game still f fully works. Even though the hitbox is a bit glitched. But as you can see, the game works pretty fine now. You can turn around round and the 3D effect fully works. So um, I'm just going to repeat what we have to put in this controller object. Um, at least for me, I've set the radius to 1.18. The zoom minimum to 1.16, the zoom maximum to minus 0 0.33, the, and in the draw GUI event I have set the, um, these two values to uh, 640 and 350. And really we can just move these to the create event because there is no reason why we have to set them again and again. So I'm just going to move them to the create event and as you can see, when it decides to run it still works. Yeah, there we go. And it works perfectly fine. So, and thanks a lot for watching, guys. I know this was super confusing and super complicated and super s badly explained, I know. Because I really don't know that much about shaders. I mean, I have no clue what this code means. <laughs> uh, I really just don't know. So, um, yeah. But this worked for me. This worked in Five Nights at Pinkers 4, and this also seems to work now. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and if you have any questions, just write them in the comments and I will try to answer them the best that I can. I don't know if it's going to be a good answer, but I'll try. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and see you in the next episode.